There was a Storyline user in the eLearning Heroes forums today who was interested in creating an effect where a hand was crossing some items off of a list, kind of like an example that Tracy Parrish had shared a while back as an Articulate Presenter demo. And the question was, how do you do this in Storyline? Because the animation options in Storyline are a little bit different than what you find in PowerPoint. Well, here's an easy way that you can do it. What I've got here is a graphic of a piece of paper, and then I inserted these text boxes on top of it, and I used a handwriting font to make it look like a handwritten list. And then for each of the three items on my list here, I inserted two things. Let me go down to my timeline, and I'll turn the visibility on so you can see what I added. One of the things that I added was this picture here of this hand holding a pen. And this one happens to be a picture you can buy as part of a package of hand graphics at elearningart.com. But as Tracy showed in her Articulate Presenter example, you could also easily photograph your own hand holding a pen and then use a graphics tool or even PowerPoint to knock out the background so that the background is transparent. And then the other item I added, if I turn the visibility of the hand off, you can see it a little bit better, is this, um, this line that goes, you know, it looks like it's going through the text, but it's actually over top of the text. And I just used the insert tool, use the shapes button, and then selected the line, drew it on my screen. And then I, I made the color blue, and I also, I think I increased the thickness a little bit so it would be a little bit more visible. So once I had those um, two items inserted, um, the next thing was I needed to decide when I wanted this um, crossing off action to happen. So for this one, for the third item in my list, I decided I wanted this to happen at the six second mark. So um, right here, you can see on my timeline that my picture starts at six seconds. And you'll notice here, um, I rotated it. I used this little green handle here to rotate the orientation. And I made the rotation just enough that that hand was barely covering up the text that I wanted to you know, look like it was being crossed off. And the reason why I did that is because for just a short time, the hand is going to pause long enough for me to also animate in the line, which is right here, right? So I'm having the line appear at about six and three quarters seconds, about three quarter seconds after the hand does. And so that way, um, since the line is actually below the hand, you can see it's one notch under the hand in the list here in the timeline. It's actually animating in underneath the hand, so the learner shouldn't see that happen. But the cool thing is when the hand moves away, it's going to look like the hand is actually drawing the line on the screen. So that's why the, the hand picture here is leaving the slide at the 8 second mark. So that's what that's all about. So that's how the timing works. Now, what about the animations? Well, for the line, if we come up to the animations tab, I did apply an animation, even though in theory, the learner probably isn't going to see any part of that line. Um, but just in case there's a tiny bit of the line showing underneath the hand, I wanted to make it appear you know, not very abrupt or not attention grabbing. So I, I applied this fade in animation for the entrance. And I didn't use an exit animation since the line is actually going to stay on the screen for the full duration of the slide. And then for the hand, here's what I did. If we come up to um, the animations tab for the hand, whoops, let me see if I can select the right thing here. There we go. Um, I'm having the hand fly in as the entrance, and it's actually happening from the bottom left. Okay, it's not coming straight across the screen. I had it come in from the corner since that felt a little more natural. I use a speed of medium, and then for the exit, I'm actually using a fade out animation, but you can even apply a direction to a fade. And the direction that I chose is I wanted it to fade out to the right, and that's what is going to cause that hand to move um, off the screen to the right so it looks like it's actually you know writing that line on the piece of paper and again I used a speed of medium so I did that for each of the three items on my list if I turn the visibility on here on my timeline you can see all of them and I staggered them you know so like the first one happens here second one here and third one here so they're kind of coming on screen one at a time so let's go ahead and preview and I'll show you how it ended up looking so the first one comes on, it crosses off the list, and then another one, and then the third one comes on and crosses off that third item. So kind of fun and pretty easy to create this effect in Storyline using just some simple animations and adjusting the entrance and exit of your um, objects on your timeline.